Soil Moisture Indicator Soil Moisture Indicator measures the volumetric water content in the soil. Efficient irrigation management practices save considerable amount of water. For this, devices like Soil Moisture Indicator is essential to assess the status of soil moisture before scheduling irrigation. In most places, irrigation scheduling based on soil moisture is almost not in practice. This is due to the non-availability of easy-to-use, rugged, effective, and inexpensive soil moisture indicators. In this video, we will learn how to make a soil moisture indicator. These are the components which are needed in this project. One comparator IC, LM358, 8 pin IC base, 3 10 kilo ohm resistors, 2 1 kilo ohm resistors, 2 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitors, 1 red LED, 1 green LED, 7805 voltage regulator, copper wires, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Here is the circuit diagram of this project. We are using a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project. LED is used to give power on indication and 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor is used to protect the LED from over voltage and current. 7805 voltage regulator is used to convert 9 volt DC into fixed 5 volt DC. While we use the circuit, the battery starts discharging and battery voltage starts decreasing, but 7805 maintains fixed 5 volt DC at its output unless the battery voltage goes below 7 volt. Two capacitors of 10 microfarad are used at the input and output of 7805 to avoid any fluctuations in the supply. LM358 is an 8-pin dual comparator IC. It compares two of its inputs and give the output accordingly. Comparator compares the signal at its pin number 2 with the signal at pin number 3 and give the output at its pin number 1 when the voltage at pin number 2 is higher than the voltage at pin number 3. Then it gives a low output at pin number 1 when voltage at pin number 2 is less than the voltage at pin number 3. Then it gives a high output at pin number 1. Two 10 kilo ohm resistors are used in potential divider mode and they gives 2.5 volt at pin number 2 of the comparator. These are the two copper wires one of which is connected with the positive supply and another one is connected with pin number 3 of IC. When soil is moist, then both the wires short with each other and we get 5 volt at pin number 3 of comparator. Now, comparator has 2.5 volt at pin number 2 and 5 volt at pin number 3, so it gives a high signal at its pin number 1. Green LED is connected at pin number 1, so when soil has enough water, then green LED turns on. When the soil is dry, then there is no connectivity between the copper wires, then this 10 kilo ohm resistor gives the ground signal at pin number 3. Now in this case, comparator have 2.5 volt at pin number 2 and 0 volt at pin number 3. So it gives a low signal at its pin number 1 and green LED turns off. These are the components which we will use to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB.
To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder 7805 voltage regulator. It has three pins. First one is input pin, second one is ground pin and third pin is output pin. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Now we will solder two 10 kilo ohm resistors one by one to make the voltage divider. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the green LED. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will take two copper wires. We will connect one wire with positive supply and second wire with comparator.
Now we will connect a 9 volt battery, and test our circuit. We have connected two metal bars, with our sensor. To simulate our soil moisture indicator, we will use a glass with dry soil. We will dip our sensor inside the glass. Till the soil is dry, green LED remain off. When we put some water inside the glass, green LED will glow, and indicate that soil is moist. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video, and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.